Hi everyone, for today's art class we're going to be using some paint brushes. We need a variety because we're going to be doing some quite fine lines today. We'll need an eraser and a pencil. Probably a light pencil, mine's a bit darker, but that's just for um, video purposes so you can see it clearly. We need some watercolour paints. You might like to use some watered down acrylics or some watercolour ink or not watercolour, water-based ink. I've got watercolour paper as usual. That's quite a thick one. I think that's 280. Uh, we've got some jars of water, a paint palette, and just some tissue to pad up any puddles that we might create or anywhere where we might like to create lighter spaces. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for this painting I recommend that we turn our paper portrait style instead of a crossway so we can use all this space here to create some really lovely tentacles. The first thing that we need to do is draw just a light outline of a couple of jellyfish. I'm just going to do two jellyfish. I'm going to position one about here and one about here. And that allows me enough space to create their lovely flowing tentacles that they have. T uh, jellyfish are very easy to create. They're kind of just like mushrooms. So the most important thing, I guess, is that you just do a nice rounded off shape. So there's one. And I don't even think I'm going to draw that bit down the bottom. I'm just going to let that flow along. But I will roughly estimate where the flow of the tentacles is going to go. And that's the pathway that that one's taken. And I'll do one maybe on this side so they can be two jellyfish dancing. And the tentacles are going to go like that. So that's the drawn part. Now I, what I'm going to do is just rub my pencil lines out a little bit. I just did them darker so that you guys could see them. Hopefully you can see them. All you need to do is imagine a mushroom shape, the top of a mushroom, and then a lovely curved line for the tentacles or the way that the tentacles are going to flow. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is pre-wet just the body part of the actual jellyfish. Now, it does. I was going to erase that, that pencil line, but it doesn't really matter too much because if I just paint over that a little bit with a darker colour, that should work out. So I think I'm just going to use like a lighter blue and a darker blue. So kind of like a navy, um, a navy blue and a nice mid blue. And I'm just going to get maybe those two colours might work well together. So I'm going to put this colour on. And I'm just going to... Um, just let the watercolour dance on it. So I'm just going to give a general cover, coverage of that. Then I'm just going to get the darker blue. And that's what I'm going to use to overline or to go over the line of the pencil for the jellyfish. Try and create it as round as I can. Mind you, it's not perfect. And it doesn't really matter because I've looked at lots of fish uh, pictures of jellyfish and they're all they come in all different shapes and sizes with lumps and bumps on them so I just continue doing this color over the top now what I'm actually going to do is use this same color like under underneath the jellyfish so just maybe do a few more dots there I may be inclined to add another colour, another blue to that. Oh, I like how that just went then. So I'm just make that create a little bit more. That looks pretty good. I like this movement over here. I might see if I can add one more colour to that. I've got a lighter colour here. It's a different paint set. These aren't as good as the other paint set. But I don't mind that colour. That looks interesting. And because I've pre wet it after a while, that will just blend all in. Encourage it a little bit here and there. Try and blend those things out. So I'll put a little bit of water in the middle there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. This one's a little bit different. That's okay. 
Right now what we have to do is let those dry. So I'm going to press stop and I'll come back once this is dried. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create the middle part of the tentacles. Now what I'm going to do is just like make it kind of quite wide at the top and then as it comes down narrow it down and I'm not really I might actually make oh yeah, that's okay so I'm just painting across ways and what I'm going to do is just choose again a couple of the different colors I might start with the lighter one so I'll use this blue here and I'm just going to that went really quite thick so that's probably maybe a little bit too much um, water in that one. All right, so I'll leave that like that up the top. And I'll just maybe, I just wanted to create like a swirly kind of pattern like that. But I actually wanted to leave a bit of space for the other colors to come in. So maybe that's totally ruined it. Anyway, we'll give it a go. So I haven't got as much water on this one. Oh, that's the effect that I like. So I'm doing some swirls around here. And I'll do some swirls around here. Now you don't have to do it this way. You can do it any way that you choose. Now I haven't added any more water to that. I just kind of wanted to create just a just like a thicker tentacle. So I might just make that kind of join up there so it looks like it's coming from underneath that. All right, so what I need to do is just leave that dry. So what I'm going to do is press pause, do the other side. Now, the, I've never done anything like this. I've just looked at octopus, um, not octopus, I've looked at jellyfish and had a look at their um, uh, how they actually are made up. So they're made up of this top part, thicker tentacles in the middle and then thinner ones on the outside. So I'll press stop, I'll do the other one and come back when we're ready for the thinner te tentacles. Okay so the last thing that we're going to do is paint the tentacles and for this one we'll need a fairly fine brush. I'm not quite sure which brush is going to work the best. And we also want to make it uh, quite a, a dark um, quite dark tentacles so they kind of go over the top of that now in hindsight I probably should not have wet pre-wet this before I put the paint over the top because it didn't really give me the look I wanted I wanted to look more like this but as I said first time I've done something like this so it's all about experimenting and playing and having a bit of fun so I'm thinking the color that I might use is this darker one now I'm hoping that it comes out reasonably fine and I, what I'm going to do is just do like um, the finer tentacles coming from underneath the body so that's good that's the look I like and I don't mind that it tapers out down the bottom there so this is what we do over the whole lot I might just redefine this a little bit more just so it looks like we can see a little bit of the underbelly of the jellyfish. So these are the tentacles that are in the front. And I'm not going to show you me doing this whole thing. So what I will do, I'll press pause or stop and I will finish the painting of the tentacles of this guy and this guy. Now I've painted the front ones and what I'm going to do is let those dry and then I'm just going to paint some te tentacles that look like they're coming from the back. So I need a few tentacles coming this way from this one and a few maybe kind of floating away that way so it looks like it's movement in the water. So I'm going to press stop and continue and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay so what I've done I've just repainted up the top of the body a little bit darker and I'm just putting some I am actually using some of this water-based ink just to give um, my little guys a little bit of uh, light dappling on the top of their 
um, on the top of their bodies so that one didn't come out too great I think it dried up quite a bit but anyway much happier with this top of this guy and I'm much happier with this middle part of this guy and the tentacles on this but there we have it <coughs> it's all finished now as I said this is my first one I think I'm going to have another try so I can get in the middle the middle thick tentacles a bit better and some of these tentacles here I actually made too wide I mean I could pick it to bits but the reality is that I had loads of fun giving it a go so this will actually make me want to do it again and see if I can get some of those things that I wasn't happy with this time make me a bit happier with the finished product but still another another thing to learn and it's all in enjoying yourself and having fun while you do it now one thing I did forget to do was do the splatters just like I did with my whale and like I do with all my whales so I'm just getting that fine that fine paintbrush making sure there's enough water in that actually and I'm just going to flick so I flick away first this is the same effect that we have used before on our nebula I've used this effect when um, when we've done some of the whales I want a little bit more down near their tentacles because that will look like that's creating a lot of movement so the tentacles are creating you know bubbles in the water when they move okay so there we have it finished I'll take a photo of him and show you the finished product Thank you for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my YouTube channel, Free Art Class by Bit of a Hippie. If you have any questions, don't forget to pop them in the comments. Also, we have a Free Art Class Facebook page where you can pop any of your pieces that you've created using my YouTube videos. Love to see them there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.